going on everybody? It's Pigpen the one and only and it's time for my official review of the 2017 Ford GT. This car was released last week. I know I'm a bit late, but anyways, here I am with this absolutely sexy looking car. First thing you notice are the curves of this car. No matter what color it's painted, it still looks great. This is a rear wheel drive vehicle. It's an R2 class car that has a rating of 1652 bone stock and when max, it's a 1681. Good to keep that in mind because it's a good indication of the performance you can expect. In just a few minutes, we'll take this Ford GT out to the track for a spin, but right now, I'm not gonna go through every part, but I wanna show you a few parts. I have turbo installed, maxed of course, also, NOS is installed and full weight reduction. I'm going to make time this weekend to make a perfect launch tutorial for the Ford GT. And also, I will show you all parts installed with my Mac setup tutorial. All right, well, that's enough yip yapping out of me. It's time to go to the lobby. We'll take this car for a spin. Um, first things first, we got to find out where the drop is and the RPM launch, of course, which is easy. So we'll uh, mess around with that on our first race. We'll just kind of check out the tachometer, see how fast or how slow it drops. And we'll determine, wow, that was fast before someone challenged me. We'll determine uh, hopefully where we need to drop. So uh, let's race and uh, let's have a look and see how fast or slow the needle drops. It's pretty slow, so we're gonna need more time. Yeah. Looks like it uh, drops pretty slow, so it looks like we're gonna, it's gonna be right around the first light. We'll kind of fine tune it and see where it goes. And a 6.804 with a .069 RT, not bad. That goes to show me this car can easily hit uh, 6.6 as I would think. So let's uh, try a few more races. We'll mess around with the drop some more. And I actually like that first light, so we're gonna keep right around there somewhere. We gotta fine tune it. Uh, hey, it's Tunes. I have seen him in a bunch of lobbies recently. Um, what's up, Frosty? <laughs> hey. So I like the first light for the drop. We had real good results. We'll just need to fine tune it to get that RT down. And as far as the shifts, I'm pretty sure this car is gonna be a late shifting car. We had pretty good race results and also, not sure if you saw it, but on the last shift, the red light blinked a few times before the wall. That's a pretty strong indication that lates are correct. So let's wait for this guy to race or chicken out and we'll see, uh, we'll try some more lates. Here we go. All right, let's troubleshoot from what we saw. Um, I had a .069 RT, I believe. Yep, um, and my time was not as good. Uh, the drop was right on, but if you saw, I should have launched at 3,000. That looks to be where, wow, hold on. That looks to be correct, but I uh, launched actually a little bit lower, which uh, killed the time. So, hey, let's try it again. Forget that you saw that. I should probably focus on my launch RPMs and shifts more than my RT. Uh, we'll race my buddy Tunes and we'll see if we can do a little better this time. We'll aim for our target of 3000 RPMs for launch and we'll still continue to go for our late shifts. Let's race. Oh, race malfunction. Missed my NOS. Damn. That's okay. Nothing lost. Just a test run. We'll uh, go back and we'll try it again. Give it another go here. Let's see uh, who's up for a race. How about you? Nope. Uh, this guy looks good. All right. So, once again, late shifts. Uh, we'll drop on the first light. We won't. We won't be dropping on the first look. Well, it can't always be smooth sailing. Let's find another opponent. Well, looks like another opponent found us. Tunes. Let's go, buddy. Let's race. Oh. 
Well, this will be a pretty good race time, probably in the low 6.7s. Let's wait and see. We got a 6.715, pretty good. Uh, there are, however, a few improvements that I could do. First of all, my launch RPMs were a bit low. I launched at 27 or 2800 when I was aiming for 3000. And second, one of those shifts was a bit too late. I heard it click at the wall twice, so we could uh, improve on those. Just a little bit of gem repair, so we can continue this video. Let's find another... Uh, another opponent here, uh, it's my buddy Joker, hopefully he wants to race, um, and we'll try, we'll try late shifts again with this, uh, maybe after this race we'll try some earlies just to see what it gets us, but right now, lates are where it's at. Well, not as good as that last race, but uh, we'll see. It's probably about in the same ballpark, minus uh, 38,000. You're looking at a 6.717, so actually pretty close to the last one. Um, still could use some improvement, obviously, with the RT and uh, shifts. Uh, yes. Yes, I am the real ghost pepper. Actually, no, I am an imposter. I am the fake Ghost Pepper, and I've hijacked this YouTube channel. Let's race. Don't, oh, damn it. I should probably worry about my RT a little bit less and more worrying on my shifts. Yeah, you know what? This time, I'll try some early shifts and see what that does for our time. All right, let's see where I cross, a uh, 6.820, that is no bueno, guys. So we know earlies are not what you wanna do with this car. Uh, we're gonna stick with lates, yeah, 6.934, even though we had a 70 thousandths reaction time, definitely no good. So lates are most likely the best shifts for this car. Let's take on another challenger and we'll see if we can improve on our race. Ooh. Did you hear that, guys? If you didn't, go back right now and listen carefully. I heard a double click shifting into fifth gear. That's an indication I shifted just a little too late. 6.709, very good time, but I bet you anything, if I would have shifted just a tad earlier, I would have crossed over into the 6.6s. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. We're going to wrap this video up. We had a few good races and we had a few bad races, but all in all, I have to say, I really like this car. After the first race, my mind was made up and I can honestly recommend you go get the new 2017 Ford GT. It's not gonna be a purchase you're likely to regret after a few races. That's why I make these preview videos, just to give you a glimpse of a car before you jump in head first. Thanks for watching everyone, glad you tuned in with me today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up if you like this video. I'm Pigpen, the one and only, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Yeah.